on YouTube of John Stanek from Johnny Radio here bringing you another album of the month this time for February 2018 and I'm so excited to be talking to you about a brand new artist I had never heard of before February 2018 and that is Nicholas Patchberg, a 23-year-old pianist from Germany who just released his album Oceanic which he recorded all by himself and is an instrumental record and let me just say for instrumental albums, um, sometimes they kind of lose me, especially in the classical vein, about halfway through. I get bored because it's just, uh, especially if it's piano bass, just one instrument. Here, though, Patchberg adds some other elements, some electronic elements, some percussive elements that uh, it never gets boring. It, it always feels like it's moving. And he recorded this in a studio that was overlooking an ocean. So obviously he was very inspired by the ocean and uh, like a great painter with his paintbrush, uh, he created just this vibe, this overall sound that always feels like you're moving on water. And a lot of that I think has to do with kind of the uh, propulsive, uh, just very simplistic though, but pulsing rhythms that he has with the bass drum that go on many of these songs. Also the electronic elements, although they're never too uh, out there, they're always very subdued, the analog always uh, outweighs the digital, but it offers, you know, for those little respites of, uh, of the quiet moments, it just gives your ears a little something uh, to, to hear. And, you know, sometimes there's sounds of waves, so that helps to give that, um, that whole oceanic vibe. Also, I would like to say that, you know, uh, for a lot of instrumental artists, it can also sometimes seem a little pretentious. And I was a little concerned going into this record because the first minute or so is just the sound of Patchberg's footsteps walking into the room. Uh, and I'm like, okay, where is this going? But then as soon as the music starts, I was just hooked from the get-go. Uh, and songs like Spark, A New, uh, Journey Among Worlds is another great one, probably my favorite on the album. I just love that it has this very staccato note that almost sounds like he's playing a guitar, but you can tell it's a piano, but then he's doing this, these beautiful arpeggios around it, and you can tell this guy just really has the classical chops, but he prefers to build on themes. And, um, you know, there's another artist who he's been compared to, Olafur Arnolds from um, Iceland, who he, he's more of a stringed instrumentalist, but he does similar things, mixing, um, you know, real world instruments with some other digital effects and things of that nature. To me, though, I would compare Patchberg with a different Icelandic group, and that's Sigur Ross. And uh, not with their more uh, recent industrial sounding stuff, but more of their organic stuff from early on, where they would just uh, have a beautiful melody and then just build it and, and build other sounds and elements around it. And he does that brilliantly throughout this record to where uh, not only do I never lose interest, but I always feel like it's taking me on a journey. And um, I just really appreciate that. And, you know, although I've compared him to two other amazing artists, I think the best thing I can say about Oceanic is uh, that sometimes I just am not thinking at all when I'm listening to it. It's just really got me uh, transfixed on the music. And um, it's, it's just really um, a, a meditative, reflective album, but, uh, you know, you can work to it or you can meditate to it. It's, um, it, it's just, I think it's very versatile for an instrumental, classical, yet, um, I don't know, there's something spiritual about this record, and I, I just highly recommend it for anyone who enjoys music of any kind and has an open mind to just immerse yourself in this uh, very oceanic, for lack of a better word, album. And uh, Bob Boylan from NPR said something perfect. He said, uh, you won't listen to probably a more beautiful record this year. And he may be right on that. I think this is definitely uh, early in the game, but I give this an 8 out of 10, and I highly recommend it. Uh, if you haven't heard it, please check it out in the link below. If you have heard it, uh, I would love to hear what your thoughts on it 
are in the comments below, and uh, please like if you like this, subscribe to my channel, I got a lot more stuff coming. Next week is U2 week, I've been doing top 10 U2 songs and a review of my favorite U2 album of all time, so stick around for that, and uh, guys, just thank you so much for watching, as always, Viva La Vinyl! So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please like, and if you want to subscribe, click the Johnny Radio icon to the right, and also some of my other related content. Thank you so much, and I will see you soon.